Hi, Gary Stearman. Time for another Prophecy in the News Daily Update. It's the 27th of June. We have a very special treat for you today. Author and lecturer L.A. Marzulli is in studio with us. Hi, L.A. Gary, great to be here. Thank you. And, and by the way, all, it's always fun and informative when L.A. is here. He's here because he's just put out another uh, DVD. It's called Watchers 4. And uh, we don't have nearly enough time to talk about everything that's in Watchers 4, but mm -hmm. give us a little overview, a little sneak peek at Watchers 4. One of my favorite sections is when we talk about near-death experiences, and we sit down with Howard Storm and Dr. Jeffrey Long mm -hmm. and discuss NDE, near-death experiences. We focus really on Howard Storm's story because he had an NDE. And this man was an atheist. He was an art professor, um, had nothing to do with God. He hadn't prayed since he was a little kid. Uh, he was an atheist, and um, he was in France on this on this lecture tour with a bunch of people looking at different art museums, and he contracts an ailment, and he winds up in the French medical system. Remember, he's an American in France. Ooh, yeah. He lays and, uh, in a hospital room for nine hours. The beauties of uh, socialized medicine, Bingo. by the way. Yeah. That's a three-hour discussion. And... The <laughs> There's, there's no <laughs> pain medication, there's no nurses, there's no doctor. He's not even examined for nine hours. The pain becomes more excruciating with each passing hour. And he's desperately trying to hold on because he knows that if he goes unconscious, if he's, he, this is it. He's hold, clinging to life, literally. Clinging to life. And of course, he can't cling to life anymore and he lets go. And he blacks out and then a, a period of time passes and he finally awakens and he's in the room. He looks over and he's in the bed. How can that be? And he goes up to his wife and begins to yell at her. Like, wake up! You know, hey, it's me! That type of stuff. And she just stares straight ahead, doesn't hear him. He then goes over to um, his roommate, does the same thing to this man, right in his face, yelling, screaming at him, swearing at him, cursing at him, anything to get his attention. man just looks like he can't hear anything. So he's perplexed by this, not sure what's going on. And out in the hallway of this hospital, he hears voices, and they're calling him by name. Howard, come with us. It's, it's time. We've been waiting for you. Come with us. So he assumes, first mistake, that these are somehow medical personnel. They're going to take him to the operating room where he can get operated on and get, get relief. And uh, he goes out in the hall with these people, and there's like six to eight of them, something like that. Mm -hmm. There's a little a crowd of people, and they begin to usher him down this hallway. And pretty soon, he doesn't know where he is. And this hallway ceases to become a hospital hallway. It becomes this dark, gloomy, dungeon-like uh, area without ceiling, floor, or walls. And these half a dozen people have now grown to 100 people. He's not even sure, but a lot of people. And they begin to kick and push and bite and scratch and, and make fun of him and prod him to the point where he's like um, overwhelmed by this thing and he begins to fight back. And the more he fights back, um, the more it excites them. They're getting off on it. And they do things to him which were unspeakable. He wouldn't go on camera and tell us, but he just said, suffice it to say that it, it makes uh, sadomasochistic acts look like a picnic. And so at that point, he's an atheist. He's in a dark place being tormented. Sounds like hell to me. Yes. And he came to the realization, apparently, that it was. And on uh, this DVD, you get the rest of the story. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and by the way, it's an amazing testimony because uh, this man is now a pastor. Yes, he is. But he was an atheist. Yeah. What a story. And also, you talked with Dr. Jeffrey Long. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, by the way, uh, Watchers 4 is not entirely about the NDE or no. near-death experience. but A lot of different topics. A lot of different topics, sure. including an interesting topic. You know, there there is a, a city <clears throat> in Texas called Rockwall, Texas. Mm -hmm. Actually, I, I think it's fairly close to Dallas, isn't it? Yeah, very close to Dallas, yes. And uh, it, so, you know, you name a city. Uh, you call a city Great Falls if there's a Great Fall by the city, mm -hmm. or you, you, you call a city Mount Airy if Mount Airy is nearby. Uh, but there's this Texas city that's called Rock well, Wall. Well, you would think it would have a rock wall since it's named Rock Wall. Mm -hmm. L.A. went to Rock Wall, and you found something very interesting. We interviewed John Lindsay about Rock Wall, and Lindsay did some excavations, specifically in the 90s, where he uncovered what he believes is an ancient megalithic site dating back thousands and thousands of years. Uh, the rocks that they found, and he actually, we actually held one 
uh, has piezoelectric properties. In other words, it conducts some sort of a current, electrical current. That's the first anomaly. The second anomaly is that the rocks are composed of crystals. Mm. And there's only one other place where this type of rock is found, and that is in the King's Chamber of the Great Pyramid in Egypt. Wow. And what's interesting, rock wall and the, and the Giza Plateau are on the same parallel lines of a 33rd degree parallel. So and in the video, you're going to discover th an interesting sidelight, which is that there is, has been apparently an effort to cover up the existence yes. of this wall. Why? Because it doesn't jibe with, uh, uh, shall we say, secular man's view of the past. That's correct. Yeah, the whole idea of, of Darwinism that we just sort of evolved and that Native Americans were here and, and, and no other culture except Native Americans, they all came down through the Bering, you know, land bridge and all that. This flies in the face of it because this is an ancient megalithic structure um, that shouldn't be there and yet is. You know, this video begins with the Nephilim and you, you've heard a lot about it. You've seen a lot of books lately. You've wondered about it. It's a biblical subject. The word Nephilim comes right out of the Bible. Sure. And uh, L.A. talks a lot about it. He begins with that, and he goes all the way through this video to uh, an interview, another interview with Dr. Roger Lear concerning alien implants. Now, that's not a hocus-pocus, harem-scarum uh, story at all. It, it's actually a story that leads us back to some very clear reasoning. Sure. At, at the Branson Conference, I will be speaking specifically on the Mark of the Beast, and I will show footage, actual footage from the Watcher series, which Dr. Lear gave us, where he's actually extracting one of these implants. So I, I take it out of the realm of theory and, and hearsay, and, and look, here's, here's the operating theater, mm -hmm. here's the implant, this is what it looks like, here's what the image looks like under an electron uh, standing microscope, and on and on it goes. We are looking at high strangeness here. These beings are putting this implant in people and it's for a reason and i will talk about that at the branson conference which i'm really looking forward to oh me too and by the way uh, there will be all kinds of, of guest lecturers there and when we come back we'll have uh, some stories to share with you i guarantee well uh, la's latest uh, video is called watchers four i have the other three right here watchers one two and three if you haven't seen them you have really missed something uh, Watchers 4, 1995, plus shipping and handling. If you just call the number on your screen right now, 1-800-475-1111. You can get the entire package, Watchers 1, 2, 3, and 4, for seventy nine ninety five. And by the way, that includes a two-disc bonus. L.A. Marzulli, Marzulli, the lecture series. This is uh, called Messengers of Deception. And uh, that totals five DVDs for seventy nine ninety five. If you ask for the Watchers mm -hmm. Collection, when you call, ask for the Watchers Collection, you'll get a, a Watchers Four plus the other four DVDs, and you'll be up to speed with uh, almost all the work that he's done. And believe me, it'll tell you some interesting stories, and I think it'll encourage you to read your Bible as well. In fact, that's probably at the heart of this whole thing. We want people to get back to Scripture, right? Absolutely, definitely. And modern man thinks, oh, you know, I don't need Scripture. I'm a modern man. <laughs> I understand science, and I, you know, and I have an iPhone, and, <laughs> and we have medicine that heals all diseases. We don't need to read the Bible. Mm -hmm. Wrong. We do need to understand where we came from and sure. where we're going. Absolutely. And where, we spirit came, beings. and where we came from was a world of sin, and where we're going, if we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, is to be with him throughout eternity. But on the other hand, if you choose another way, well, uh, there are other re dark prospects, and L.A. covers those, as you uh, heard him mention uh, earlier in this uh, update. Mm -hmm. Always fun to talk to you, L.A. Great to be here, Gary. And, and by the way, it's a good v DVD. It's, it is a... Uh, it's an experience. Let's put it that way. Thank you. All right. Thanks to our good friend and co-producer, Richard Shaw. To okay. Tie it all together. Let's talk to L.A. again on tomorrow's update. Gary Stearman. Keep looking up.